Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Wouldn't it be great if your battery started running low on your laptop? If your Mac could actually speak to you like this? You are now running on reserve battery power. Or here's another example. Here's some photos I just took of my Agapanthus with the full moon. Watch what happens when I import these and then go off to Safari to browse the web a little bit while the import's happening. Here I start the import, go over to Safari, and I'm looking at some other Agapanthus photos here, and now let's listen to what happens. Excuse me, iPhoto needs your attention. That's the speech version of the bouncing icon in the dock. Alert for my photo. Delete photos on your camera. And the alert caused the system to read delete photos on your camera. And now I'll say keep. So let me show you how I set that up. Over here in System Preferences, which you can find in the dock or in the Apple menu, if you go to the Speech section, make sure you're on the Text-to-Speech tab. And there's two checkboxes. The first one, Announce when alerts are displayed, refers to those alert boxes like you know, your battery is now on reserve power, or would you like to delete the photos from your camera? This second one, announce when an application requires your attention, refers to those times when an icon is bouncing on the dock, but that application is not in the foreground. It's staying in the background, but it wants your attention. Also, this first option here, Announce when alerts are displayed, there's a few options here. You can pick what voice you want the computer to use. You can change what phrase you want it to use. And you can also add a, a delay here, which is how long after the alert window pops up on the screen will it wait before it actually speaks to you. So, that's all you need. In the speech section, text to speech, check these two boxes, and your Mac will now tell you when it needs your attention. Hope that helps.